Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 3. My name is Basilisk. And I am the Caffeine Dragon, your faithful tour guide. And in the last episode, uh, we made it to the next dungeon after sleeping through a lecture. Uh, really quick though, this puzzle, because I did look it up, the way this code works is north-south is vertical coordinates, east-west-east -west is horizontal coordinates. So, for instance, 2-2 two, two here? Yeah. 2-2. Two, two. Oh. So this puzzle's not really that hard, we're just kind of dumb. <laughs> All we had to do was pay the slightest bit of attention to the fact that 3-3 three, three, or that 3-3 three, three was... Uh, you know, I guess 3-1 was the first one unlocked. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter, it's solved. Let's, con let's go on. I guess... Yeah, whatever. We're going. The Great War raged so long that the people fighting it forgot how the war started in the first place. The war finally came to an end approximately 400 years before the present. Quick note, this war started 1200 years ago. Yes. Britain and France haven't managed, the, managed to get a war that long going. They tried. The Neo Sapiens Hard. in the... Mm -hmm. The Neo Sapiens and the Elus signed a ceasefire agreement, and the fires of war over Vilgaia were finally extinguished. This war that was thought to be never ending left battle scars all over Vilgaia. At least they were smart enough to end the war before they lost the planet in which they lived. Books or Wiseman's? It's both. Yes. <laughs> well, let's get rid of the books first. Burn. Thank you, Jet. We will never see what these books do in a fight. No. Okay, why? Are we just getting nothing but preemptive strikes? Did I miss something? Well, no, the last fight, the wise men's uh, reflected in meditation. Yeah, but they should have taken a turn in the last uh, last turn. Ah, indeed, excellent thinking. <laughs> there we go. All right. A very pointed way of thinking. Oh, thank you. Hey! Potion Berry! Or a I was heel running berry. out! <laughs> or both. And could a heel berry. I was, I was running. We were running low. Yeah, it's uh, totally. You know, it's just, we don't have triple digits of those. So. Hey! Three chests! One of them is a mimic. Lucky cards. Warp stars. Stars? Oh, let's do it again. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. Last Oh wow, none of those is a mimic. Nope. I'm impressed. Just experience and money. To the Elus, who were deeply attached to and relied on the planet's life, these battle scars were a serious threat to the uh, to their existence. The population of the Elus began to diminish at an alarming rate. And so, the Neo Sapiens and Elus decided to join hands once again, this time to rejuvenate the planet. However, it was too late. Approximately 150 years ago from today, the birth of the last Elu signified the end of the Elu race. The remaining Neo Sapiens repented for all their sins and vowed to do everything in their power to revitalize the environment. Amidst the fervor of pro-environmental sentiments, the last Elu, Mario, gave rise to the Baskar Creed. It is said that she parted company with the Baskar after a bitter disagreement. However, the Elu race are said to have great longevity. That is why to this day, we continue our efforts, and pray that our separated paths will one day cross yet again. 
so ultimately it was our forefathers who drove away the indigenous tribe from this planet. Colonization's a bitch! Yep. Maybe that our very existence is unhallowed. Are you even worthy of fighting for this planet? <laughs> Dwelling in the past ain't gonna change anything. I hate that kind of stuff. Wait. Jet's right. You can't change what happened by sulking over it. Oh god, the world is ending. Hold your head high. We may be tainted, but that's one more reason why we have to protect the planet. Nice pose. Very heroic. In the place of the Elus, we we're the ones that have to deliver for this... Ha who have to deliver a future for this planet today. I think that's our only way of making amends. Group nod. So in case you can't tell, chapter 3 is very full of the sins of the father trope. A little bit. Not necessarily a bad trope, just... A little overused in some yeah. nowadays. It wasn't as commonplace when this game came out. No. Now, do we really want to waste all of our time and effort, or do we want to just burn the world? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I could try summoning Ifra, but I might want to save the summons. For eh, what, I don't know. Maybe. And it's more Galt, you jackass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Kyle! Look, I've That's been playing a lot of Castlevania one. lately. If Ow. it's not in Castlevania! <laughs> Leave Virginia alone! Anyway, we finally got to see what the books do. It's grab. It sucks. You really look more like you're kind of squished, but I mean... I will stab you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this, uh, you know, ever since being poisoned, I don't think Virginia is able to, uh, is allowed to keep much of her vitality gauge. Now, one of these is a mimic. <laughs> growth egg. A growth egg. Is that right now? Ah, oh, gee, I wonder who we're going to give it to. Uh... Actually, it's going to be one of these two. I'd say Gallows, since he's down one. Yeah. He didn't get the free MCC gauge. <laughs> uh, I need to open the rest of these chests, Jackass. Yes. A weather vane. I think that's an equip do. Allows you to avoid ambush and danger. Avoid... Ooh. Yeah. Which means it's going to have a hefty point cost. I, I'd say throw it on blush jaw. Oh, that's. Let me take a look at everyone's personal skills. You don't have anything I'm willing to. I'm not willing to give up right now. Mostly because I've been giving up green thumb and no thank you. Yeah, but Gallows and Clive both have, like, element wards that they don't friggin' need. Gallows did. I took a lot off for. Uh, weakness. weakness. Okay. Well, that means Clive. And Restoration. Yeah, Clive is Earth Ward. Clive. <laughs> Clive, Clive just... <laughs> doesn't have shit. So. Wait, what? Did I just give that to someone who already has it? I think so. No, that's Terror Roar. And you definitely put it on Terror Roar. This... This Terror? I'm confused. What's Clive's second uh, medium? Uh, Cosmic Cog. Which has it as a natural bit. Okay. Whoops! Alright, uh... So... 
Oh, right, you can't de-equip those. No, oh, well. We can get we can get weather veins later. Yeah. Oh well. My bad. Hey! hey free ammo coin. Yeah, now we can replace the one we got screwed out of. Thanks to a situation I like this. I've just been punished. <laughs> uh oh. All right. Time to kill some books first. Thank you, Jet. That's not good. Goodbye, Jet. Oh. Yeah, you think being stabbed in the face would wake somebody up, but hey. Maybe being squished will wake his ass up. No, I don't think anything wakes up from sleep. I think it's just a different type of paralysis. He's already asleep, dumb fuck! Now he will double sleep! Not how it works. Uh, uh oh. Oh. No. Um. Oh. Oh no. That's a whole ass problem. Jet might be about to die. <laughs> yeah, I think he's dead. Jet's dead. Let's hope they both cast sleep. They won't. Sorry, Jet. What? Oh my god. Please be lost in meditation. Please. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. This has gone to shit real uh -oh. quick. Jet's dead. He's still alive. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Virginia. Hey, he's awake! <laughs> I, I think it may be time for a summon. I think just say fuck this. This 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 went to hell real quick. Uh, but I do need to have. Uh, yeah, Jet doesn't need to heal. Otherwise, his vitality gauge is gonna be bottomed out. That shop was yet to summon. It's the attack that got used against us. A lot. Either way, potion berry from Virginia means a max full heal. Yeah, pretty much. not put Gallows to sleep. Oh my <laughs> god. He's got sleep ward, thank god. That would have been funny as fuck! <laughs> Dark destruction. Honestly, this summon just looks really fucking cool. It does. It also harkens back to the fact that we both love Helsing. Because, you know, yeah. eyes. What? Counter. Damn, we got everything but the dolls. Ha! Ah, fuck you! Damn it! More editing! <laughs> no, uh -huh. future Donovan, we will not stop giving you work. It's not even you that's giving me work, it's the enemies and the fact that gals can just block them. At least I'm putting people to sleep. sleep. No, nope, Virginia wants a nap. Good night, Virginia. Not as if you just woke up from a coma not so long ago. Get fucked! Get? Is he good? Hey, a uh, heel berry. <laughs> Pulled that one out by the skin of our teeth. That looks like a tree. This painting depicts the event of approximately 100 years ago. I'm sure you all know what this signifies. The Yggdrasil system, correct? Yggdrasil was created to revitalize Filgaia's environment. However... My brother has told me a little bit about what happened. As long as we live on this planet, we're the ones that have to protect the planet's future. Jet could not care less. <laughs> However, Recently. Go ahead. looking back at history, there is only mention of Neo Sapiens who threaten this planet. I'm not quite sure what this means. Perhaps we are meant to harm the planet once again. 
Within these mural chambers lie only facts about the past. It is up to the people of the present to figure out how we want to interpret this. We may still be in the dark now, but I'm sure we will find the truth within them. Hmm. Looking for a shortcut can lead you astray. That is what my professor always used to say. Yes, I understand now. I am always jumping to conclusions. Is that it for the paintings? Uh, no, there's actually one more in the back. Ah, shit. My bad. I was actually holding down the button and it skipped the damn line. You fool. You pulled a chugger. I just shut. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for another puzzle. Yellow are the people, aboard a white ship. One. Silver and green are the yellows. Ignite the white ship, paint it red. People are people, and yellow is other yellows. Yellow aboard the white ship. Paint the white ship red. So the white block goes on the red square, the yellow block goes on the gray square. And. Huh? You cut out for a second. Well, enemies. I believe the white block goes on... Shit. So the yellow block goes on the white square. The white block goes on the red square. The... Red block... Shit, I don't know. I'd have to look at it again. I think I, I, think I know. But in the meantime, uh... Whoa, fire be upon me. Burninating the countryside. Burninating all the wise men. Victory for Vegeta. Hooray. Yay, level up. Okay. Alright, if I'm right... Oh, we're gonna have one of these fun days. Actually, I have the solution. Do yourself a favor. Uh, that blue, yeah. that white block. Yeah. Burn it. Ah. And now it's literally just matchup colors. Running. Yeah. Funny thing is, I had the right idea about where the white block went, just for the wrong reason. Yep. Funny, that. No, no, no fight. Block puzzle. Ta-da! No fight. Plot. Uh, kid? This is the last painting. But, it's blank. This mural depicts the future, which lies in wait. It is up to the individual to see this as despair and hopelessness. Or as a future which is yet to be painted. Of course I'd like to see something painted on there. Yes, something great and exciting. Yeah? 
Yeah, 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 but what's with all this rubble? Why is this the only place that's all messed up? This wreckage is of an idol modeled after the Supreme Guardians, the Guardian Lords. Guardian Lords? Raftina, Justine, Zephyr, and Luciad. Guardians who preside over the unlimited power of the heart which everyone possesses. They reigned over all the Guardians, but disappeared before the planet began to decay. Right? See, I've been studying. Liar! We do not know the whereabouts of the Guardian Lord's lost powers, but we must find them someday. The teachings of Baskar state that a future for the planet will not arrive without them. A future for the planet? The other day, I left my town to become a drifter, and before I know it, I'm involved with the future of the planet. Just like five years ago, Virginia! <laughs> was it five years? Oh, yeah, I guess it was. It was before I moved house, so yeah. Oh my god, we've been in Jesus. <laughs> yeah, well, we also took like a two year long break because my computer didn't want to record this fucking game. That is true. This is a probably longer, honestly. This is a very serious situation. It's so serious, I can't seem to comprehend everything, but I know that we have to do something. I'm not sure how helpful this was, but this is the last of the murals. We should head back soon. Oh god, you're actually gonna make us walk back. Why? Run! Oh, that's why. No, it can't be. No way. Hello. <laughs> How nice to see you again. I'm gonna poke your third eye out. We halt Melody and Malik? Are these the enemies my brother's been fighting? The ones who threatened Philgaia? Here is a little something to celebrate our reunion. 